Hi, I'm Legolock, a Legacy Locked Iron Man. I'm an RS3 player locked into the Legacy Combat Mode and the Legacy Interface, which means I can't use any abilities. And yes, that includes movement abilities. I have quite big plans including, but not limited to, the Reaper Crew achievement, full best in slot gear, and even solo 100% Zamorak. I'm playing modern day RuneScape in an old school way. This will not be easy, but fortunately, I love a good challenge. I'm Legolock, and welcome to my journey. Today is going to be a jam-packed episode because we have a lot to accomplish. I have some other game plans that we're going to start setting into motion alongside of our invention grind. There are two that I'm going to start putting some progress into, but I'll cover those later in the episode. Here's what we're aiming to accomplish today. Throughout the episode, we're going to balance out our combat stats. We're just looking to hit 60 in both magic and range for now though. This will allow us some flexibility in combat styles, but specifically with magic, we'll unlock access to high alking at 55, which is good since I have some salvage saved up, as well as mage arena for the Guthic staff. This will make mid-game bossing a lot easier. Speaking of bossing, we obtained our first reaper assignment last episode, so we're going to complete that and hopefully incorporate that into our daily rotation to start gaining reaper points. And lastly, we're going to train dungeoneering. Our goal with dungeoneering is two things. 45 Dungeoneering for the Sinkhole and the Mining Guild to have easy access to Dracolith for mining, and for the upgraded gem bag which makes training crafting a lot easier since we're planning to train via the Alcarid gem rocks. This will make both the smithing and crafting grind for unlocking invention a lot easier due to convenience, which is ideal for me since most of the time I grind these skills on mobile. Let's get into it. See, this is why I don't want to do mole. Some guy with 500 more total level than me, 550 more total level than me just got chomped. There we go. That is it. Find it, baby. We are kitting out though. We're, uh, we're looking pretty, uh, pretty good. 95 room crafting. No time soon, bro. <laughs> Not even a third of the way. Well, technically we're a third of the way there. If you use normal numbers, not runescape math, please tell me that this is going to be the last hit. I don't think I can survive much more range. Come on. No. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Such an annoying boss. Everybody's favorite boss. You just do one hit and then you, <laughs> and then you go back to running around. Bro, I'm just I'm just so good. One shot, keep running around. One shot, keep running around. That's a two a tr a two trest. A two trest. True test of progress. Res time, baby. Got 30 seconds to freaking charge it, bro. Frick! Ah, oh, dang it! So close. <laughs> hey, that was a good, that was a good run. Yo, and we got the last piece of diviners. That's sick, dude. Five out of friggin' five. Looking divine. Some H, dude. Okay, that room is undoable. It's undoable. It sucks. Quite literally, is a skill issue. Skills suck. Heck yeah, dude, 40 Dungeoneering. That is big poggers. We are now able to get the upgraded gem bag if we have enough tokens, which we don't. But we still need to get 45. And that is for the Mining Guild Resource Dungeon. This dude's level seven. I'm gonna one-shot him. Freaking Get wrecked, dude. Absolute noob. Oh, frick, this thing might kill me. Frick. Dang it, dude. 50 constitution, baby. We are constitute. Bro, get wrecked. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess me too. <laughs> Fishing level 89. I did I did all that running around to just get told I can't. Dude, this is actually flying. Um, I thought this was gonna go a lot slower and I would want to take a break, but no, I'm 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 in it to win it, baby. A slinging eels, baby. Just an eel slinger. 45 dungeoneering, baby. That is the dwarven mine sinkhole, right? Yes, dude. Not dwarven mine, the mining guild. Heck yeah, bro. Because one more level, we're in the mining guild. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Oh, dude, we're almost 50 defense. We might be able to wield some runite tonight. Yo, 50 defense. Heck yeah, bro. I was not expecting that. That is rune armor, bro. And I have a full set of rune plus three in the bank. That is big. That is so big. I'm genuinely stoked about that. That puts us at 49 Dungeoneering. We have almost, what, 10,000? Bro, how do we know? All right, sick. Let's just look at the rune armor. 
And we'll look at it with the D longest sword as well. Oh, look at that. That is so tight. And look at how freaking long that is. That is nuts, dude. That thing is like twice my size. Oh, this looks so sick. This looks so good, man. All I need is a Zerk Helm, Glory Set, Fighter Torso, and then actually like a Rune Defender or something like that. Zerk Pure, baby. <laughs> this is sick. This is so good. Should we take the fight to the mole? I think it's time. We at least have to get one kill to redeem ourselves. We've got a truckload of lobsters to go through. We actually have good food to use this time and not just sugar. And I have the dragon longsword to clear the minions. It can't get any better than this. I cannot be any more ready than this. And I'm still 69 combat. You know what's going to happen tonight. It's already going so much better. Bro, this is going. This is going well. Bro, D2H coming in clutch. That is so sick. Oh, this is not good, actually. Oh, I love this. This is so fun. Yeah, dude. Switches. Switches are where it's at, dude. Oh, this is not good. Yo, a 420 PR, combat level 69. Dude, could it get any more ideal? Whoa, dude, that is so good. You cannot get any more of a gamer number than that. And that is the first Reaper kill on the account, dude. So freaking good, dude. So good. So that is 54 prayer after using all of our ashes and wyvern bones. So we're slowly getting up to prayer levels just by doing wild events, honestly. It's very, very solid experience and very beneficial to do these. I've gotten quite quite a bit of good things from the world events. At this point, I have two portable obelisks. Uh, I got an elite clue, which gave me a fortunate component and some miscellaneous teleports. Or not clue, but elite uh, casket. And then I've gotten a black dragon egg for whenever I get to that point in POF. I've gotten three visage and then all this salvage. So getting that magic level to 60 or well 55 for high elk is going to be very major. Realistically, probably need closer to like 56, 57 dungeoneering in order to have enough tokens for the upgraded gem bag. We can get the normal gem bag, but the upgraded variant is a lot better because it's not capped at 100 gems. It's capped at 60 gems of each type all the way up to Dragonstone. Oh, that is good. 50 dungeoneering. I can now use three bound items. That's huge. That makes this so much easier. I took a small break from Dungeoneering so I could get my magic level up from 29 to 32. This unlocks the ability to make a personal gate stone, which allows me two checkpoints essentially within each dungeon. This is such a big quality of life as I wanted to start doing medium sized floors for bigger experience drops. It was such an easy unlock that to me it was a no brainer. So I just went over to the trolls in Birthorp and Got this level probably within less than five minutes. And I also got a lot of good herb lore experience out of it as well. Perfect. We now have bound cosmic runes. We'll always have access to this gatestone teleport. This is going to be such a, such a big quality of life. Now I don't have to waste 10 seconds per home teleport. It's going to be great. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Being able to free cam so you can see what door you're missing. Right? Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. What is this door? Yeah. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. All right, let's see. How much was it? Oh, that was a good... <laughs> yeah, mediums are the way to go, dude. I just got to do a handful of these and I'm all set for tokens. 55. Dungeoneering, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, what? What? <laughs> what? I didn't know we could change direction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Classic. Classic skill door I can't use. 56, baby. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Should be done after these next two floors. Hoggers. Hoggers, dude. Oh, come on. SMH, dude. The last dungeon for a little while. So we will finally have our gem bag. Can't dunk on me this time, buddy. No dunks here. There we go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we've got the gem bag. And we've got the gem bag upgraded, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's going to make getting 80 crafting 
so much freaking easier, bro. He's he's about to be destroying me like a lot more. But I might be able to gimmick it. All right. So, ooh, that was a good crit. <laughs> this is getting down to the wire. All right. This ain't happening. Let's see. If his health is still down. Oh, wait. I hope this guy's not going in there. He's got an anti-dragon shield and he's got a war tortoise. Oh, sick. It's health's not <laughs> It's health. Heck yeah, dude. We'll take the gimmick. We're taking the gimmick, dude. Any way to get this reaper done? <laughs> Slice him. Yeah, baby. We got our first KBD kill. Was it scuffed? You betcha. But is it done? You betcha. <laughs> Yo, this might be a one inventory run. Dude, this might actually be a one inventory run. Oh my gosh, no way. The move is to pray melee. Oh my gosh, one inventory wonder. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Yes. Dude. Heck yeah. One inventory. No gimmicks already. I'm freaking awesome. Yo, the crit game is strong. <laughs> Dude, two crits in a row. What is up with this? We're freaking slapping. Slapping and slashing, dude. Freaking look at this. Almost half an inventory of food. KBD completely felled. Almost died right there. A 313.2. You cannot get faster than this. Do not look that up. Get wrecked. Reaper assignment done, baby. 40 Slayer. 41, excuse me. I got two levels from that. I think I also have enough to get the Wars Retreat Teleport. If we get this... It, I, I'm pretty sure we have 10 boss kills now. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. This is the best teleport. <laughs> I now have an instant teleport to a bank. Freaking finally, bro. Oh my gosh. This is so good. That is huge, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm one of the boys. I'm one of the boys. I just did 7 KVD. Now you want me to do more. Ah. Uh, ay, ay, ay. In on me. In on me, guys. IOM. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Dude, we're actually- <laughs> A lot of us are missing. This is- This is nuts, dude. I thought you guys would have like a 100% hit chance. Bro, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> this will go down in Legolocked history. I love this. This is so fun. This is so fun. You guys are goaded. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. The first of my game plans is unlocking Livid Farm. Livid Farm is a minigame where you're required to help Pauline Polaris maintain her farm via Lunar Magic. Doing so will earn you produce points, which unlocks quite a lot of useful spells within the Lunar Spellbook, of which one is going to be invaluable to us, Disruption Shield. In Legacy, you don't have access to any abilities. Resonance is commonly used to not only sustain HP and reduce food use, but also to cancel out high damage typeless hits such as so much power at Telos. There will be mechanics I can use a vitality potion for, but other damage I have to proactively absorb in some fashion. I can't rely on enhanced devoted, lucky, or absorptive perks as they're not guaranteed. For this, I need to complete everything up to and through Lunar Diplomacy for access to the farm, as well as grind out 70 magic, 60 agility, 60 crafting, 60 farming, and 50 construction. I just love how you can go into anybody's house and use their stove. <laughs> Someone has to have a stove. Don't- you're freaking joking. Why is that the first option? Think about it. You have to you, you have to wear gloves to pick up nettles, but you can just drink the water with raw nettles in it and it doesn't hurt you. Like it hurts your fingers to pick up something spiky, but it doesn't hurt to drink it with water. Riddle me that. Oh, and I just ate the chocolate bar. I should really read the options. A crunchy claw token, what the frick? What's that? I have to, I have to do some recipe for disaster stuff before I can get that, but that's sick. It'd be cool to get the shark too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, freak. Yes, dude. I got it. I'm done. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, dude. I'm freaking out of here. Adios. Come Padre. That is what I'm talking about. Gotta go freaking all the way around, bro. Dude's about to get murked. Freaking easiest fight of my life, dude. Bro, is this realistically going to be possible to 
get them all. <laughs> nah, probably not. He's hitting too fast for this guy. If I brought one piece of food, I would have beaten his fourth form. <laughs> I'm actually, I might. Come on. Give me one hit. Oh, no. One hit. Oh, frick, dude. I would have almost got his fourth form, dude. That was close. That would have been... <laughs> Would have been so cool. Freaking walk away from this quest with an extra souvenir. South, west, east, north, south, east, and north. Just like that. Easy peasy. Squeeze the limits. Oh wait, hold on. Let me uh Oh shoot! No, I didn't mean to attack him. Frick! Thank you for forgetting that I just punched you in the face. <laughs> Sweet. Barge trial is done. And then we just need to do the merchant trial. We're all done. We're getting the smallest taste of one small favor. <laughs> all right. I think that is all the votes. There it is, baby. Ability to wear permanent helms and armor and make the enchanted liar access to relic as facilities in the islands. It okay, it clicked right through. Anyway, <laughs> we've done the Fremnic trials and we got a lot of levels. Let us go get a Zerker helmet. 78k. You drive a hard bargain. Let's check it out. Actually, let's go. Let's go to our brand new teleport location. Oh, look at that, dude. Look at that. We look like a Fremnic warrior. <laughs> a very exotic colored Fremnic warrior. <laughs> this is sick, dude. I'm amped. This looks so good. This is fun, bro. This is so fun. Remember earlier when I said I had a second grind in mind? Well, let's elaborate. In Legacy, as you know, I have zero access to abilities, which means I have no access to the traditional damage reduction methods you'd find using a shield swap. There are two pieces of gear that reduce incoming damage that come to mind though. The Staff of Light, as its special attack reduces incoming melee damage by 50% for one minute, but costs 100% adrenaline and requires 93 Slayer to obtain. But the other piece of gear I have available to me that requires no special attack energy is the Spirit Shield, namely the Divine, Arcane, and Elysian Spirit Shields. The goal is Corporeal Beast. If you know anything about this boss, you'll know that the sigils have an abysmal drop rate if you're going for a specific one, which ideally for me would be the Divine Sigil. This requires not only the sigil, which has a 1 in 2560 drop rate for a specific sigil, but also the Holy Elixir, which is a 3 in 512 drop rate. The Spirit Shield is a 1 in 64 drop rate, which I'm sure we'll get plenty of along the way. The goal not only requires completing Spirit of Summer to unlock it, but of course higher stats as well as a spear to do full damage to Corp. So, first we need to be able to access Krill in God Wars Dungeon 1, requiring a few quests and 70 prayer on top of that. We have quite a bit of work to do, not only questing and unlocking the content, but also leveling up our combat stats to even stand a chance at survival. It won't be ideal to start before unlocking Invention, but this boss was released way before Invention, even before Evolution of Combat released. So, it may be difficult, but if it's at all possible, and I end up getting access to it, I'm definitely going to try it. Not only do I need all of the oak planks to do murder on the border, but I also need all the teak planks to do unwelcome guests. I need about 168 planks, which means 168 teak logs, and the only teak tree that's really efficient to use that I have access to is the teak tree near Castle Wars. So essentially what I'm doing is chopping the teak tree, hopping worlds every single time that it falls, filling up my inventory, using the ring of dueling to go back to Castle Wars, and running back. So I'll be here for a little bit. All right, it looks like we have everything that we need for murder on the border. So let's go ahead and knock that out. The kitchen is unlocked, baby. Looking good. And that's murder on the border completed. Now on the unwelcome guests. Guard house completed. That was a pretty darn good quest, honestly. But that is unwelcome guests all finished up. We did this so that we could actually have a decent way of training ranged in magic but not only that these undead drop some pretty decent low level iron rewards so that's why we wanted to train here because they're also right outside and next to a bank so it'll be easy access to resetting the extra benefit to this is that raptor is a slayer master which i'm pretty sure he focuses on giving tasks that focus on these new slayer mobs so we'll be getting a lot of good slayer experience and combat experience we were lacking a decent magic setup so we just got some bat wing robes from betty in port serum so now we're gonna go do our demons task and just start doing some slayer working on these combat stats and hopefully getting fairly quickly up to level 60. honestly just doing this task this i'm just noticing how much how many how much runes this is going to take because i was just one-shotting imps this whole entire task and 
It already ate over 400 runes. Partially, that is partially because even though I'm one-shotting him with one hit, it's still firing off an auto from the main hand and the off hand. So it's it's not the most convenient, I guess, to do dual wield. So I think if I want to have similar damage, but less cost, probably have to use a 2H. And that's probably going to be the same with ranged as well, but I think maybe bolts would be a lot cheaper or at least easier to come across in some fashion. I don't know. We'll kind of see how this plays out. Yeah, we, we have to finish this task with melee because I think I've pretty much bought out all the shops that I have access to except for the Mage of Zamorak, but probably gonna have to resort to finishing the magic grind with just the Avernic Wand. <laughs> the Avernic Wand and Book, unfortunately. Unless I can find something better in the meantime, but 39 magic. There we go, 40 range, dude. This is very, very, very fast. I'm essentially just clicking really fast and running around in circles. All right, we got a decent ways up. We're at 43 ranged, which is pretty huge. And we started at level 32. We got a ton of herbs, a ton of herbs, and maybe a little bit closer to getting some carpal tunnel. So I'm probably gonna have to do this a couple times. I at least wanna get to 50. I don't think it's that unrealistic. It's just, you know, honestly, it's not the most exciting thing, but it is very fast and it gives a lot of good herbs, which I definitely need for my herb lord levels because I've just been relying on Herby Werby at this point. Just finished up replenishing on a whole bunch of bronze bolts because this method of trolls just eats through them. I either have to run around in circles to upkeep my bolt stack or I can kind of stay planted and it's a lot less click intensive, but it just eats through my bolts because I'm not picking them up as often, which is what I'm honestly going to opt for because it's just a lot less daunting to do. This is definitely, to be honest, not my favorite way of training, but I just honestly can't get over how fast it is because I'm already at 46 ranged. So I'm going to be doing this for a little bit, maybe get to 50, then take a break and get magic up to 50 and just kind of bounce back and forth and just get these guys up. There we go, 50 range. That's a very good milestone. And 40 magic. Something that I did not expect is how many herbs I would get doing this. This is very good. Very, very, very good starter herb lore experience. And all my herb lore has been coming from Herby Werby, but trolls are going to boost this quite a bit because I have a lot of like low to mid level herbs that are going to help me really push my herb lore level on top of Herby Werby. So this herb bag is a huge help in getting some herb lore experience while training up combat. I started at 39 magic and 32 range, so we still have some levels to go. So that's going to be quite a bit more herbs. And then also while I'm training range, the shamans drop a lot of air runes, which was something that I was struggling with obtaining earlier. I've gotten a few thousand air runes just from shamans. Like I said, it's very click intensive, but this is a lot better for low levels than I thought it was going to be. 50 magic, dude. This is great. 50 magic is awesome man. so now we can actually use full mystic and mystic wand and orbs we can finally upgrade our pretty much whole entire setup because we've been using the same setup since level 30 but i have been using quite a bit of my gp on just elemental rune so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna see if i can boost up my crafting a little bit because i've gotten quite a bit of gems in my free time via mining gem rocks with the upgraded gem bag that i have because I've also gotten a few mystic cloth. So I might be able to make a few mystic pieces and save myself a little bit of GP. 50 crafting, 51, 52, 53, and 54. I think that's gonna be as high as we can get with all of our uncut gems, but that allows us to at least make the mystic row bottom. Oh yeah, dude, we're looking, we're looking good, man. We're looking like a true magician. Arseer helmet, full mystic. And I just realized I've been using the amulet of accuracy and not the magic amulet, but that's all good. Now we're going to see if we can bust out the last 10 levels at ED3. I don't think I'm going to have too much accuracy there, but some of the beginning mobs can drop like 10k experience, which would be very, very quick for leveling up my skills. So if I can do that, I can really shoot through these last 10 levels for magic and range. Oh man, this, yeah, even, even though this is really tough, this might be a way to train. Oh, wow. Yep. This could be really, really, really good, dude. But yeah, dude, that got me three quarters of a level and it took me a fraction of the time as it would have taken me at Trolls. This is, this is massive. It takes me a lot more supplies, like almost a full inventory of lobsters, but this could also be very different with range. I don't know, but this is, this is very solid for magic right now. So I'm going to try a little bit of a different setup. 
Uh, this is kind of a benefit to doing trolls is I was able to get enough herbs to make some prayer potions and magic potions. This should ideally help me with hitting a little bit more and I might be able to use my prayers. Oh my gosh, that makes a massive difference. I'm hitting so much more often. Holy crap. That is like night and day difference accuracy wise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there is 55 magic. That is a big milestone right there. I am actually so excited. I'm going right to the bank to out all this stuff so I can have some money. <laughs> We're officially over a mill. That is huge. I ran out of nature rooms. I didn't really plan for this occasion too well, but either way, dude, I'll get some more next time. This is great. I have plenty of money to play around now. I, I don't feel so restricted anymore, but... On to be honest, I think that's where I am going to call it because um, honestly, I think I set my goals pretty high this week and I um, I didn't expect them to take as long as they did, but they did. I'm going to just plan accordingly for next video, but made some solid, solid progress. I'm really excited to see where we go from here.